Good morning, everybody. Bonded Draconis here, and welcome back to Beyond Shadowgate. I'm going to be honest, with this being a weekly series, I don't exactly remember what we were doing, but we're going to find out. Right. Okay, the King's Emblem. Let's talk to him. Golden Dagger. Okay. Okie dokie. That's what we were doing. Oh, nope. Don't speak to the door, genius. Alright, so... That's the end. Arms. I thought that was an arrow. Hello. Hey, you just happen to have it in your hand, don't you? Talk to you. You explain your interest in the dagger to the clerk. He scoffs. That man is a crook and he'll get no favors from me. The dagger is as magical as my left boot, but you can't help me. I fancy the rusted blade barmaid, but I've no courage to say so. Go speak with her. Tell her my feelings. Do this for me and you shall have the blasted dagger, he says demandingly. Well, all right. Stop talking to the... No. Hello? There we go. This way? Nope. This way. Ha-ha! Hello, you. Speak to her. You relay the weapon shop owner's interest in the beautiful lady. Her cheeks blush a bright pink hue, she says. I fancy him too, but I could never be with him without a blessing. I can't leave the inn for hours still. Can you talk to the monk for me and get his favor so I may see my love tonight? The monk? Why do I keep talking to the doors? The monk? Where do I find the monk? Ooh. What is that? Look. You recognize the shine of a silver coin anywhere. It seems some poor person missed the fountain while making a wish. Their loss is your profit. This feels like a bad idea. Grinning widely, you reach down to collect the silver piece. Picking up lost valuable brings you immense joy. What are you? A fountain made of marble is sprouting clear water. People in, in this town are known to toss a coin in for good luck. All right. Leading to the castle. Ooh, there is a castle there. Hello. Ah, you must be the monk. Speak to you. You explain the barmaid's request and ask the monk for his blessing. He says, It's about time with those two. Alas, I, I lent the charm to a soldier. Find him and return to me so I may bless it. Well. Okay. The modest robes and gentle smile reveal this man to be a monk. Well, thank you. I never would have guessed. Is he at the castle? Uh, hello. It's an ancient fairy stone. Seasoned magicians use these to cross great distances in the blink of an eye. May I use it? Nothing happened. Of course it didn't. Hello. It did not work. There we go. Hi. Hello. I don't know why he caught me by surprise. You ask for the charm. The guard nods, frowns, and looks through you. Indeed, it is lucky. But perhaps it is not. My troop was sent to patrol in the Tor Torland Forest. I returned alone. In sorrow. Some days I do not feel so lucky, Fenling. A certain card-playing scoundrel took my war medal. Get it back for me, and I'll give up my lucky charm. Fetch quests. His piece said he returns to his watch. Stop talking to the air. Wait. Oh no, never mind. Ah. Uh, oh, a card playing scoundrel. That would be this gentleman, I bet. 
Let's go ahead and save this. Progress saved. All right. You. Hi. I only play for money, friendling. If you don't have a coin, then be off. Well, it just so happens that I do have a coin. Ah, there's some coin. Then join me, little friendling. Best me in a fair match, and I'll have a prize for you. This game is high and low. It's so simple, even a friendling can learn it. All you do is pick high or pick low. To win, you must guess correctly if the next card in the deck is higher or lower than the card you see now. If you pick low and your card is lower than the one on the table, then you win. If your card is higher, then you lose. Win five hands in a row and I'll give you a genuine shiny war medal I got from the last fool who tried to best me. All right, let's quit yammering and play. Um, I? No, you didn't. Um, we'll go high again. <laughs> uh, now we're going to go low. We'll go low again. Oh, okay. We'll go high. Ah. But... But... Oh, okay. Low. Um... Uh, high. Uh-huh, low. No! Fetch quests! This is gonna be a little bit... We're gonna see how this plays out. Achievement unlocked. Lucky streak. Win the card game. Well, dang, you're just too lucky. Take this medal and get out of here. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Uh, this way. Hi. Oh, can I look at it first? It's a medal honoring outstanding acts of courage. It was bestowed upon a castle gate guard by King Arandi himself. Oh, okay. Him. You hand over the war medal to the guard. He inspects it and hands you the charm. I hope you fare better with it than I, he says with a somber tone as he resumes his duty. Yay! Let's take a look at it. The holder of this charm is blessed with good fortune. The gem is a lovely deep blue. All right, let's go talk to the monk. The mud, ah, uh, yes. Use this on you. Whoa, okay, hi. The monk takes the charm, whispers some words and returns it to you. Whomever holds this charm will be blessed. May you be at peace, Fenling. Well, we'll see if this fetch quest is done and over with. If it is, then I'll be at peace. All right, use this on her. The barmaid smiles widely as you hand over the charm. You did it! Give this to my love and tell him to meet me. Hairpin. Thank you, she kisses your cheek, then quickly returns to her work, leaving your heart fluttering. Oh, okay, bye. What's that? By order of Ovin Lonath, Minister of Trade, boycott of all goods handled by the House of Quiset has been enacted. This trading house is suspected of conspiring against the late King Arandi. Any citizen caught with their goods shall be promptly jailed and executed for treason. Well, that's nice. Arms dealer, hello. Take this hairpin. The clerk's face erupts into a smile as he recognizes the hairpin. He shouts, she does love me. He reaches over the counter and li lifts you into an uncomfortably tight hug. Bless you, he says, delivering a kiss on, on your nose. Ew. He lowers you down and hands over the dagger. Take this, you earned it, and my thanks. You grab the dagger, smiling thinly. 
Wiping your face, you reflect that these two are perfect for each other with their love for excessive displays of affection. <laughs> it is an intricately designed golden dagger. Excuse me. Words. It's too soft to be an effective weapon, but it may cut paper and canvas. So it's a letter opener. It's a letter opener. Okay. Cool. Hello! Take the damn dagger! <laughs> Excellent! Thank you for getting me this fine object. I am glad to have it back. However, this is a shop after all. If you are interested, I will part with this dagger for one gold coin. It is a steal at that price. Now let me see your emblem. Yes, it is authentic. Take this note to the barkeeper and show no one else. Or you risk your life. Yes, save it. Curio note. And uh, look at it. You scan the elegant lettering. The fabric is authentic. You hope this is enough to convince the barkeeper to help. Can I take that? Don't touch! The shopkeeper says sternly. Okay. Well, off we go. Off, off we go. You... Read this. The barkeeper reads the note. Ye have been telling the truth. Our king lives. Go to the smithy and report to him. Repeat to him. Prevail quickly, Fendling. Take this key and go. Ooh. I don't know how many of these people I can actually trust. So do I just go in here? The key produces a satisfying click as it releases the lock. Hello? Oh! Okay, yes! He is in here. Hello, my friend. Remembering the innkeeper's words, you say, prevail. The blacksmith's face changes to a wide grin. He says, I knew it. Hurry to the back. His massive arm nearly rips the door off its hinges as it beckons you into the room. Out the back, through the cave, you'll find an entrance among the rocks. If you get stuck, use the map for help. Now, go. That's... that's all? That's it? That's all I gotta do? Plus that, because I don't trust him. What's that? You walk past the mountain doubling as a blacksmith and into a small room. Suddenly, the door slams shut behind you. Voices you don't recognize shout orders at the blacksmith to open the door. Sounds like the Royal Guard is looking for you. You hear keys fumble at the lock and drop as the blacksmith curses his clumsy hands. He's buying you time to escape. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay. The heavy wooden trapdoor was slammed shut when you left. You cannot lift it open. Oh god, that was stressful. Well, no point in, in not saving and continuing, so there we are. What's this? This torn parchment is part of a map. Alright, let's take it. You pick up and examine the discarded parchment. You realize that it is a piece of a map of, a, of the kingdom and surrounding lands. It's not complete, but it may prove useful, so you decide to hold on to it. Gwenenthel. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, all right. Yeah, that's... That's gonna be special. Okay. All right. Well, continuing on. Okay, that's the trap door. Let's go. As you exit the cave, you see a makeshift camp, flying the banner of Lord Jair, built along the outskirts of the city walls. Lord Jair! That's who you play in Shadowgate! From the size of the camp, you guess Jair must have, must have over 5,000 troops ready to lay siege to Gwenenthal. You must hurry. That's the man from the first game! Hello! Oh! A soldier wearing the uniform of the Westland forces Westland forces 
Suddenly, he jumps from the underbrush and grabs your collar. He calls out, "'Tis all right, Captain. Just cut me another spy." A voice with a thick accent replies, "'Aye, bring him along.' Before you can correct their mistake, you are clubbed unconscious. You wake up just in time to be beheaded. Oh! With your failure, evil has prevailed. Oh! So, don't go left! Gotcha! I should have done this. I mean, it just stuck me back here, but still. Okay, we go right. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. A large stone slab sits loosely in the wall. Can we use it? Ow! That's not an achievement I wanted! You hear the cranking sound of machinery. Suddenly, several spikes explode upward from beneath you. Owie! Your body is pierced in multiple places. You do not survive. You have failed in your quest. All that you have loved will perish with you. Mm. Oh, I didn't see this. Okay. You don't have a good feeling about these strange markings on the ground. No, 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 I don't. And I didn't earlier, either. Large stone slabs sits loosely in the wall. This appears to be a dead end, but the elaborate stonework here surely hides some kind of entrance. Okay. So... What about this? I don't suppose. You wrap your knuckles on the heavy stone, impressed with the sturdiness of the slabs. Force that will not open this door. Right, okay. Can I take the rocks? No. No. Alright. Was there something back here that- Okay, no. Is there something back here that I missed? Two paths diverge ahead, one leading back towards the castle, Gwenenthal, the other into unknown wilderness. Okay. Air flows quietly into the damp tunnel. Alright, well how about we go back a little? What's- is that water? Yes, it is a foul-smelling stagnant puddle of water. Brushing breeze wafts in from the far side of the tunnel. Okay. Well... Can I take that? No. Right. Alright. Um... Can I... Open that? No. Can I take it? No. Can I move it? Oh no, that would just move me to it. <sighs> hmm. Wait. What if... Okay, so what if then... This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Can I... Oh... No? Ah ha ha ha! Yes! Alright! Thank you, map! Let's save it. Okay. There's an uh, outed torch. Oh no. 
Oh, this brings back memories from the first one. An old rusted iron lever protrudes, protrudes from the wall. You wonder what it does. Well, one way to find out. You grasp the lever and pull down hard. It grudgingly moves and then gets stuck. It opened the door. You hear machinery creaking to life as the stone door slides open. Awesome, let's move on. You exit the secret passage and step out into the splendor of the lower level. Castle Crasher! Alright. In fact, you remember being dragged through this very corridor on your way to the dungeons. The king's words ring in your ears. Fiends have usurped the throne. Find the scroll of disenchantment. Collect the royal seal from my hidden chamber. You hear the shuffling of armored guards down the hall. You decide to keep a low profile. Do I, though? Can I take these? Light emerges from the dancing flames as the torch burns brightly. You notice that it is quite permanently fixed to the wall. Right? Well, what about this? The tapestry is elegantly woven, depicting a chillingly realistic demon. The lower edge hangs above the floor, revealing an opening. Ah! That's where I was. Okay. Alright, so now I have two ways to go. Straight ahead and to the right. And there's guards shuffling somewhere, so... Let's go. Oh, this is definitely bringing back flashbacks of the original Shadowgate. Look at the book. A guestbook for visiting nobles and diplomats sits atop a luxurious desk. There have been no visitors for months. Seizing the opportunity, you write Del Thornborough on the page in big letters. Very big letters. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> See a heavily barred door and smell the fragrance of a pleasant meal. Ooh, maybe not go that way then. Maybe not go that way then. Oh, oh, okay, those are just... Okay. I thought those were guards. Decorative suits of Gwynethelian knight's armor line the Grand Hall. You look warily, wondering should you walk too close? Oh, should you walk too close? Would its halberd come crashing down upon you? You've heard the splendor of Gwenenthal Castle, and this great hall does not disappoint. The large double doors are made of stout oak wood and held in place by large iron hinges. They are shut tight and impenetrable. So you can't open them? Uh, no. Okay. Well, I suppose then I have to go this way, yes? Okay. Kitchen. Can I use this? Ooh, I can. You put both hands up on the edge of the wooden plank, securing the dungeon floor. Plant your feet and push hard. Surprisingly, the plank slides away easily. Hmm, lighter than it looks. Or, I'm stronger, you say, pleased with your work. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh. Hold up. Ow. Oh. Uh, but isn't that where the king was? Yes. You have heard of the great king Arandi, son of Dugan, a monarch most beloved by his people for his fairness and generosity. Arandi was a friend to the Fenling, sending him aid and goods, sending aid and goods during the mega drought. You are astonished to find him chained, a prisoner in his own dungeon. Evil is afoot, and you feel compelled to right this treachery. A feeling you recognize, which is wholly foreign to you. King looks up with you with hope in his eyes. He speaks. My little friend, I see you've spoken to the barkeeper. Please, find the evidence of those who betrayed me and share with share it with my brother, the prince. Yes, sir. Why is this all barred up now? All right, well... 
That's nice. How about here? That looks sus. Looking closely, you see a stone is loosely set into the wall. Open. Cannot open it. Take. It cannot be taken. Ah, uh, use. The stone is too heavy to move with your bare hands. You'll need a tool to pry it out. Well, that would have been helpful to know when I tried to take it. How about I hit it? That only hurt your hand. All right, fine. We'll keep moving. Upper hall. I know I'm saving a lot, but in these games, you kind of have to. Hello. Oh, what? Hello, what is this? This is the livery of a Westland servant. You can tell because it has the crest of the High Lord Jer upon its front. You find it strange that it is in this castle. Looking it over closely, you notice the pocket is clasped. Can I... Well, let's open it. You realize you'll have to take the uniform first. Alright, that was going to be my question, but I thought, what the hell? I see something over in the books that looks kind of sus, too. You take the servant's uniform. I wonder if I wear this, will I be able to go into the camp? There's a bookshelf with tomes on proper etiquette. Oddly, there's a book of recipes on the shelf as well. Can I take it? The cookbook is now in hand. All right, let's take a look at this. You unclasp the uniform pocket, reach in and take out a gold coin. It's your lucky day. You start thinking of what you'll buy with your gold loot. You remember the curio shop owner was looking to trade. You realize that you have no use for the uniform, so you discard it. Oh, okay, I guess not. Wondering if the king has a favorite recipe, you open the cookbook and find a key inside. Oh, with no more use for the book, you discard it. Oh, oh, was that door downstairs locked and I didn't know it? Okay, well, that's... Sure. What's over here? What's that say? The plaque reads, The Great Tower of Castle Gwenenthal. Uh, it's locked. Can I use this? No. Okay. Alright, fine. What's over here? Oh, no! He didn't do anything. Are you hiding something? The colors of Gwynanthel and the Westland are united, signifying their historic alliance. You see doorways on both sides of the hall ahead. Okay, let's try that again. Ah. Uh, the guard looks at you and he sa and says, Do you have the wine? He will be expecting it. Oh. Uh, no, I do Hi. Are you the vault? Black says, treasury. You rub your hands together and smile widely, imagining the spoils contained within. I don't suppose I can just open that. Unlike the wooden doors found in the rest of the castle, this steel door is clearly meant to keep everyone out. It should be no surprise that it is securely locked. It, it's not. It really isn't. Oh, who are you? As you step into the hallway, you see a gaunt figure approaching. A recipe voice calls out to you. Ugh, I didn't know they allowed your kind in my castle. You must sully my halls, then know your place and show deference. Bow your head to the royal chancellor and address me as Sir Belza Belazar, halfling, or I shall have you reprimanded at once. You slowly bow your head, and through gritted teeth utter, Yes, Sir Belazar, as the man walks past you down the hall. You lift your head and wonder if there's something in the water supply that turns the people here into raging jerks. I love this game so much. This richly woven tapestry depicts a scene of a, scene of a large warship cutting through the waves. Can I take it? No. Okay. Can I open it? No. Can I hit it? That only hurt your hand, but you can hit it. Ow! Stop that! Alright, what's in here? 
A note and a book. And a map. It's a map of the lands around Gwynenthal. Markers on the map show that the city is surrounded by hostile forces. You notice that it is suspiciously only loosely attached to the wall. Hey? Oh, it just drops. Okay. You easily take the map off the wall and set it aside. There's a key there. You take the key from the hidden hole in the wall. Ooh. Can I put it back? Can I use it? No. Okay. Uh, let's read the note. Outlined as a vague plan to defend the city against an all-out attack on its walls. There's a hastily scribbled note written on the bottom of the page. Ovin, Jer's advisors, did not believe the story of the king's kidnapping. That is why he has come with his army. When he discovers the king, he will surely seek vengeance. He must act quickly to dispose of the prince and pin it on him. Use the Mandragora from Veldar, then execute the king. I have fled. If you fail, I suggest you do the same, Jalak. Can I take the note? No. I can't take it. That's weird. Okay. Let's open the book. You notice that the book has one page with a folded corner, as if begging to be opened to this page. It contains a passage about Prince Torlin Gwynenthal, the founder of Gwynenthal. Prince Torlin Gwynenthal looked across the battlefield. The barbarians had been defeated, but at a high price. For the glimmer of a tear, the prince turned his head towards the setting sun and raised his right arm to salute the fallen. Excuse me. He stood there silently, paying homage to those whose sacrifice opened the path to victory. Can I take the book? I can take the book. Felt, just felt like the thing to do, you think to yourself. But you cannot take the note. Alright, fine. Then we go back. We go in here. Well, we save. Then we go in here. It's a bed chamber. Hey, is that the barmaid? The portrait of a stunning woman is secured to the wall. Her soft features and burning eyes momentarily mesmerize you. Who are you? It's a gaudy portrait of an obese man. The inscription reads, Olvin Lona, me. You recognize him as the portly man who dashed by you earlier in Gwenenthal. Oh, okay. Interesting. Can I open the box? The chest is locked. Uh, you? Yep. I, it was too much to ask that it would be for the treasury. The key fits into the lock. As you turn the key, you hear a mechanical sound stirring from behind the stained glass. The glass explodes outward, launching deadly shards through your face and body. You have sprung a trap. As you bleed out, you stumble around the room only to trip and bash your head on a bedpost. Oh my, okay. With your demise, the land of Kaltorlin fell to ruin. Okay, so ignore the box. Let's take a look at the bed. Iron panel secures the foot of the bed. You see a small hole in the center of the panel. You know a lock when you see one. Ooh. You? That? Aha! Panel opens to reveal a hidden compartment. You reach into the compartment and take the book. You are excessively curious about its contents. Yes, yes I am. You begin reading the sloppy handwriting. Beldar says King Arondi's embargo on Kalzathan will be my death. This foolish embargo allows the Westland Trading House of Preset to capture Val Veldar's customers and diminish their strength. If I don't stop the king, the House of Veldar will expose the exclusive trade contracts I gave in exchange for my properties. You skip ahead a few pages. I've been haunted by a dream in which a shadowy figure tells me how to solve all my problems and silence the king. The figure revealed the warden's secrets, which I discovered were true, and blackmailing him was easy. I hired bandits and convinced the warden to install a special jailer. 
We attack when the king or king travels south. But I can't shake this feeling of being manipulated. Not that my thoughts are, that my thoughts are not my own. The final entry reads: I awaken in a cold sweat every night, fearing capture. Elrith is less stupid than I thought. Maybe he suspects something. This proves Ovin and Veldar are traitors. Surely there's someone in this castle you could show this evidence to. But not just anyone. You don't know who you can trust. You tuck the evidence away for safekeeping until the time is right. The plot thickens. I think that's all I can do in here for now. So, we'll head out. Uh, we'll head down. We'll open this. Use Cook's key on that. Yes. Open that. Well, oh, this could already did. Press saved. All right, what are you? No, look. The damage on this spoon implies that it is seen used as a tool and not for cooking. It's surprisingly hard. How about we use that on the loose stone? You retrieve the damaged spoon. You notice it feels unusually durable for a kitchen implement. Can I take the cheese? The bread? The whatever this is? As you lift the silver tray, the light reflects off the metal in a dazzling display of colors. What are you? This brown burlap sack has the word flower written upon it. Can I take it? No. Can I open it? The stitching on this sack is stronger than Oracalcum mail. You'll need to cut it open. Looking around, you notice there's not a single knife in the whole kitchen. Ah! The gold dagger. Can I look at this? An invoice from the tavern. Bottle of the king's wine times one. The number of zeros on the bill is astounding. It looks like the bill has been paid in full and the wine is ready to be picked up. Okay. Shall we then go back right here? Uh, go back a page. Use the spoon on that. You jam the spoon into the crevice and slowly wiggle the stone free. It drops to the floor with a loud crash. A hidden space is revealed. Let's take that. You take the scroll. All right, save. Uh, open the scroll. You gently open the scroll and begin reading. The royal seal is proof of sovereignty, and only a king may bestow it on another. With the shimmering king as witness, one king shall say this spell of disenchantment to the other. Tar Gwynthal. You realize it is a magical word of power. You have, in fact, been given some sort of magic. You have learned the spell Tar Gwynthal. All right. Well, let's, um... Let's go get the dagger, I guess? Oh wait, we can't go that way. Hold on. So then, um, how do I go? Oh wait, do I need to, oh no, they would have that's why that door would have been barred up in the dungeon. Because that's how I got out before. Shoot. Okay. Damn it. I went the wrong way. I need to go this way. Can I talk to him? The king looks up at you with hope in his eyes. I'm just poking to the bar. Okay. Uh, Betray me and share it with my brother, the prince. Can I show it to you? So they, you show the king Arandi the evidence, but he does not read it. I can do nothing from this cell, my little friend. Please, find my brother and show this to him, the king replies. All right. Well... So I guess... 
has revealed a hole in the castle's defenses. Guards have sealed this particular cell shut. Uh-huh. Okay. So... I don't know then... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, well then I don't know how I'm supposed to get out. Hmm... I guess... There was no wine in there, was there? So... This door, maybe? Can I open it now? No. I don't suppose this will work. No. You, oh, okay, it's the same thing. All right, well... Now it's time to find a way out. Unless... Can I... Let's save it here. Can I now go that way? No. Maybe not. Nope. Okay. Alright. Okay. Well then... Yeah. Okay. So I have to, I guess, deal with the prince then first? Which is going to be probably... Oh wait, let's go back into the kitchen. Virtual moment of freshly baked bread momentarily reminds you of your mother's kitchen back in the fens. Okay, well... Can I use the cheese on the tray? No? Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Okay. Do you have the wine? He will be expecting it. What happens... I can guess what happens. But what happens if I hit him? As you approach the guard, he expertly lashes out with his spear. You cry in pain as the weapon pierces your stomach. You stumble to the ground in a pool of your own blood, waiting for death to come and end and end this unbearable pain. With your failure, evil has prevailed. Right, I don't know where I'm going right now, so... Yeah. Not in there, obviously, unless... Nothing happened. It did not work. Okay. You never know. So... What if I... Says, do you have the wine? Okay. How about cheese? Would you like cheese? Bread? No. Would you like a shiny silver tray? No. Okay. Well... We're going to come back down here. We're going to save it. And I'm going to end this here. And then in the next episode, we'll figure out how to get the wine. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you then. Bye.